In this video we are using Substance 3D Sampler to create the plastic pattern material in minutes. Let's build this plastic pattern material together. We'll also explore ways to tweak and edit the material. We are using a base material as starting point. To add it we click on the add a base material button on top of the layer stack. Let's make the surface a bit rougher to match the reference bit better. Now we use a pattern filter to get the structure. Let's add it by clicking on the add a layer button, typing in pattern and choose pattern. We choose zigzag to get the zigzag line pattern for the base of our structure. Let's tweak the pattern tile a lot for smaller pattern and blur it slightly less. This results in a sharper look. Then we activate override pattern normal to add the normal details. For more rounded details and to break up the first pattern, we add another pattern filter. Layering different patterns and shapes is great to create more complex ones. We switch the pattern to dot matrix for a dots pattern and increase the tiling. Now we invert the pattern and decrease the blur intensity for a sharper look. Finally, we activate again the normal details and reduce the intensity to make them less dominant. Let's rename the material and save the project frequently. To get the height map, we use the channel switch filter. Let's take normal as input and height as output to copy the normal details onto the height channel. It automatically results in a grayscale image in the height. Further, we use another channel switch filter to add more structure details. We choose height as output and decrease the opacity to blend the channels. For final color tweaks, we use a colorize filter. We choose a really dark, almost black color. Then we finally tweak the luminosity to get a more uniform look. To get another color, you can just tweak the color any way you want. To check the result in different lighting conditions, we can choose between several different environment lights, till we find one that looks great. With shift and right mouse button, we control the environment rotation. Here's our final result. You can save this setup as sampler archive to tweak the layers at a later time. Use Send to to send it directly to another Substance app. Export it as SBSAR for other 3D apps and engines. Or just export it to texture files. There's a way to get this material into every 3D software. If you want to experiment and learn more, you can download the file shown in the video. Thanks for watching and let us know any ideas or suggestions in the comments. See you in the next episode.